A bemused expression on his face, but defiance still intact. The 70-year-old Oleg Orlov, co-chair of the Russian human rights group Memorial, is accused of discrediting Russia's military after he repeatedly criticized Moscow's war in Ukraine and penned an op-ed in a French publication, Mediapart. I'm on trial for an opinion. I expressed my opinion, gave an assessment of what is happening in Russia and Ukraine. In the article, I expressed my opinion about the terrible consequences of the war in Ukraine, terrible consequences here in Russia, for the development of the political regime. Since the invasion began in February 2022, the Kremlin has intensified its clampdown on all forms of political dissent. It made it an offense to discredit the armed forces or deviate from the government's stance. Article 29 of the Constitution directly says that censorship is prohibited. Everyone has the right to disseminate information, and no one has the right to force anyone to give up their beliefs. This means, in my opinion, that Oleg Petrovich Orlov is being tried for respecting the Constitution of the Russian Federation. Memorial was founded in the Soviet Union in 1989 to ensure the victims of communist repression would be remembered. For over 30 years, the NGO compiled information on human rights abuses and tracked the fate of political prisoners in the USSR and then Russia before being shut down by the government in 2021, just months before the start of the invasion. In March, several charges of rehabilitating Nazism were brought against several memorial employees. Oleg Orlov faces up to five years in prison, with the next hearing scheduled for the 3rd of July. He said he stood by his words, but held no illusions on the outcome of the trial.